Wow, so it's sort of crazy to think that iOS 17 developer beta 1 is less than a week as of the filming of this video. I'm super excited for the next major update, but of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a few tips and recommendations on how to prepare your devices before installing iOS 17. So let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, before we get to some of the tips and recommendations on how to prepare your iPhone, I want to head on over onto Apple's website for WWDC. Now, every year, Apple hides sort of Easter eggs within their invitations and presentations, and this year is no exception. Take a look at the Apple logo. Now, I would like to hear from you in those comments down below. What do you think this is referencing? In my opinion, this is simply a bubble, Apple logo in a bubble, right? As you can see right there, and inside of the bubble, we get June 5th, 2020. 23, we can double tap and I'll link this in the description down below go into the object mode here and zoom in as you can see right there in my opinion this is directly referencing the Apple mixed reality headset that could be announced this year take a look at that bubble Apple effect right there just swarming on the screen but again that's just my thoughts I would like to hear from you in those comments down below what do you think Apple is referencing with this WWDC 2023 Apple logo now let's get to some of the information right let's go ahead and prepare for iOS 17. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Of course, there's two ways to install beta, the public beta testing program and developer beta testing program. Now, I'll have a link in the description for both and I'll describe what's different for those of you that don't know. The public beta testing program is 100% free. You can sign up. Links will be in the description down below. Right here it is. You can sign up for iOS, iPadOS, tvOS, macOS, and so forth. You click start here and it'll take you through the steps on how to sign up for the public beta testing program. Of course, you have to log in with your Apple ID and you can go ahead and sign up that way. However, with the public beta Beta testing program, the free program, you will not be getting iOS 17 developer beta 1 on June 5th. Apple usually waits about a month before they release that to the public beta testing program. Now, if you're a developer, that's when you get the beta on day one, which should be June 5th this year at WWDC. Now, I'll link this in the description down below. This is the developer beta testing program. You can start your enrollment right here. Click start enrollment. Of course, it's going to ask you to log in with your Apple ID, enter some information answer a few questions and it is $99 a year for the developer program but you will get iOS 17 developer beta 1 on day 1. Now once you register for either of the programs you want to go into settings here then you want to go into general software updates and you'll see this pop up here that will ask you beta updates and if you chose developer then you click on developer and if you chose public then of course you'll choose the public option. Again keep in mind public is free you get it a month later developer $99 you get it on day one basically those are the two things to keep in mind now if you do want to venture to install iOS 17 on your primary device which again I do not recommend you want to go into settings here you want to go into the iCloud settings right here on your iPhone and you want to make sure you go into iCloud backups if you don't have this option enabled I recommend you enable it on your iPhone make sure you plug it into a power source and it is connected to Wi-Fi so it backs up everything that's on your iPhone to the cloud that way if anything goes wrong with iOS 17 developer beta 1 you can still recover your data back onto your device it is the best option to use when you're jumping from a major update like iOS 16 to iOS 17 beta 1 so yeah keep in mind guys this is going to be beta 1 there's going to be issues as I mentioned there's going to be bugs app compatibility issues and all this sort of stuff and battery may not be the best of course but there you guys have it we're less than a week away from iOS 17 developer beta 1 I'm super excited for a lot of the new features there are a lot of new accessibility features that Apple has already shared with us as you can see right here and there's been a ton of rumors as into what Apple will be doing with the lock screen and so forth if you haven't watched my my coverage i'll link that in the description down below but anyway i'm super excited thank you for watching and i'll see you guys real soon peace